Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to do an affordable drugstore get ready with me. And this is a video that was requested from one of my YouTube friends. Her name is Linda Churchman and she lives in the UK. So I try to pick products that I thought may be easy to obtain or find anywhere. I'm not sure which brands uh, may not be available in the UK, but I did the best I could. I try not to go to anything that was really, you know, an indie brand or something like that. So um, anyways, if you like to uh, see how I'm going to create a look for the spring and she wants something with a coral lip, let's just get started. Okay, so so far the only thing I have on my face is just uh, skincare and sunscreen. And I'm not planning on going anywhere, but I usually put on sunscreen unless I am absolutely 100% certain I'm not going anywhere. Since I wasn't totally sure today, I have uh, sunscreen on. So the uh, primer that I am going to uh, use is the um, ELF Luminous Putty Primer. And I like this better than the um, original putty primer. Now I'm going to find a little, I don't know, almost, it's just too dry and... I don't like it uh, all that well. This, compare this to the, um, I don't have right here actually, the Tatcha. Um, this is called the the Silk Canvas. Uh, and I think it's similar, but I wouldn't say it's a total dupe to it. Um, I totally like the, the other one, the uh, Tatcha much more. But I mean, this is affordable and it does work. It does, um, filling your pores a little bit and I usually just put it in the areas where my pores are enlarged I don't put it everywhere so it's usually like around my nose and my cheek right here and I kind of press it in as I go over it on my in the middle of my forehead and the center of my chin right well my chin pretty much putting it everywhere all right so that's it for my primer okay, my camera had a rude moment and just shut me out so i'm not sure where i left off but this is a new foundation and it's pretty new to physicians formula not just to me it is the um physicians formula butter believe it foundation and concealer it says for all skin tones now i still have to use a little bit of concealer these dark circles do not get covered very easily okay so, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of, um, this is a, how do you call that? A corrector on my dark circles and I'll try to cover some of the dark spots. My dark spots were doing so much better and all of a sudden they're like, they're starting to look, um, a little dark again. Well, they, went, they never went away. I, the, I like this concealer, I mean, corrector. This is by LA Girl. And it's in, I don't know if it has a shade. Now, it says natural, but this is got like a quite a bit of a peachy tone to it. So I use it more as a corrector than I do. Um, see, it's kind of peachy. So I use it to try to cover as much of my dark spots as I can. But I hate the squeezy tube. And then it has um, a brush. And I don't think that's the best the best packaging ever to tell you the truth so it doesn't cover them totally but by the time i'm done with foundation and concealer it does look a little better and this is an elf supposed to be um like a concealer uh sponge but i just i'm just using it for the entire face right now all right, so that doesn't totally cover it, but like I said, it does kind of minimizes them a little bit. So I'm going to use this foundation now, and I'm going to use a brush. So I'm going to pour some on my hand and kind of dot it on my face. And then if I need more, I'll do more. But I like to start, like, this is a Nick Cosmetic for Ulta brush. I like to start with just a little bit of product and then add more to it because sometimes if you put too much then you know you can't really take it away so i rather add than end up with too much and sometimes foundations uh, are really really heavy and full coverage and you don't quite need as much 
So I put a little bit more on the brush. And remember, put it under the eye, see if it covers the dark spots, but I doubt it. So Linda Churchman is the one that requested that I do a uh, spring look. And then I asked her, did she want me to do a drugstore? Because it really doesn't matter to me which one I do. You know, I have plenty of products. And she said that would be good because it would be affordable. So, it's all drugstore. All right, so I'm going to take just a tiny bit more. Oh, I'm stuck it inside my eye. And go under my eyes. But as you can see, it's, it's helping. But it's not really covering. So, I mean, if you totally don't have as dark, cir dark circles on your eyes, as dark as I do, this may work as a concealer for you. But it certainly doesn't doesn't work as a concealer for me. Um, I'm going to put a little tiny bit on my fingers and kind of go over. Take the sponge and go over lightly the darkest uh, area in my, on my cheek. A little more on the sponge. I'll go over this area here. I need to remember to stay in focus when I'm this close. I tend to disappear. I need a taller mirror. This one doesn't extend anymore. I wish it did. I wish this one had an extension. It's um, it's nice, but I mean, I have to look down. And I find when I'm looking down, eventually I'm doing this, and then I disappear from the camera. And that's not good. So I have to keep that in mind. All right, so just I'm done with foundation. I really don't want to put on any more, even if you can still see my face, because there's only so much foundation that I can put on before I can start looking cakey and yeah I can go in the wrong direction really quick so the um the powder that I'm going to use right now is also the elf halo glow setting powder now this is also a very pretty um finishing powder because it gives your skin a real pretty glow technical difficulty couldn't get the powder out okay so I finally got the powder out and I'm gonna um do it under my eyes really quick but anyway, this is a real uh, pretty finishing powder. I need to do something with the camera. I just found myself disappearing again. Let me see if I can reset this so that we can both see each other. Well, I can't see you, but in a way I can because I picture you guys, okay? I know what most of you look like, so I feel like I can see you. Be right back. Okay, I think this is better. So I put some under my eyes and now I am going to just lightly go over my face with the same e.l.f. powder. Just a little bit down here. I'm, I'm trying not to put a lot. So even though this is a big brush, I really do pick up very little powder. Just enough so that when I go to um, put on the rest of my makeup, um, it doesn't get stuck in places. And also so that my foundation lasts even longer. So the palette that I am going to be using today is going to be from uh, Revolution Makeup Revolution. And it's the Emily Noel Edit, the Once palette. I love this palette. I purchased this when Emily first, if you guys don't know who Emily Noel is, where have you been all your life? She's amazing. She is one of my favorite um, huge creators. And I watch her all the time. I don't miss any of her videos. So anyway, this was her collaboration with um, Makeup Revolution. She had two palettes. The other one, I ended up getting rid of it because I just never used it. It only brought like four shadows, and then it brought a bronzer, a blush, a powder, and a highlighter. And I just didn't use that one, but this one I do love. You can create so many different looks with this. It's a really, really pretty palette. And as you can see, there's dents in some of the uh, shadows. So I definitely use this palette quite a bit. So, um, now the packaging, and that's one thing I have to say about Makeup Revolution. Sometimes their packaging, they're a little sad. This one broke on me right away. And I've been tempted several times to repurchase the palette. Just because I really do enjoy it. And this packaging is not the best. So, um, I want to go peachy. So, I'm going to start with... Um, is this... Yeah, this has a little shine. I'm going to start with this one right here that is called Midwest. And I'm going to put just a little bit on the crease. 
Oh, you know what? It helps if you put um, primer on your eyes first. I'm acting like this is the first time I've done this. And you guys did hear that I dropped something, right? And you know what? Another thing I didn't do, I didn't add any more concealer. What? What is that with me? I've done makeup before. Let me do this. And then I'll, and that's what I'm looking and say, wow, that really didn't help my dark circles. Well, I didn't put any additional um, concealer and I powdered already. So who knows what I'll, I'll end up doing. Maybe I'll leave it. And at the end of the video, I'll see if how I feel about it. How the completed look um, is like without any additional concealer. Because once you put powder on, sometimes doing concealer can really mess it up. I am using the, um, this is called Isadora Cosmetics something canvas for your eyes. I love it. I think it's one of the best um, eye primers. It really gives you a clean canvas. So I really do like it. I like to um, spread it with a brush and then just kind of pat it down with my finger. The warmth of your finger kind of just help to, helps it melt. Okay, so before I do the, um, the crease, I'm gonna use this one here, which is called the cream, and kind of just set my eye. Okay, now we're ready. Okay, so we're gonna be using Midwest Do Not Fall Mirror. I do not need seven years of bad luck. Right here. And then as I'm doing this, I'm gonna be um, kind of chatting with you guys and telling you a little bit, um, you know, about what's been going on in my life. And before I get any further, I know that a lot of you guys subscribe to Leanne Sereo. She's a good friend of mine. I've been subscribed to Leanne for a long time. And I texted with her yesterday. Today is Sunday, the 21st. And she told me her dad was in the hospital. So I don't know if he's still in the hospital and how serious it is. Um, she didn't say I couldn't share it with you guys. And I figured she wouldn't mind having more prayers, right? The more prayers, the better. So uh, she did ask me to keep her daddy in, her prayer, in my prayers because he was in the hospital. I don't have any more details on that. But I just want to ask you guys. Even if you don't subscribe to Leanne, just if you can just say a little prayer for Le Le Leanne. And you guys should check her out. I will list her channel below. And she's a lot of fun. She does a lot of unboxings and um, hauls and makeup looks and product reviews. I mean, she's, you know, well-rounded. Pretty much she does, she and I do the same kind of content. So if you like my content, you'll like uh, her content also. All right, so the next thing that I am going to choose is going to be this one, which is called Left Cry, which is like a peach. And I even wore a shirt today that had like orange and peach in it. Kind of to look um, springy. And I want you to know that the weather here has been in the 80s. Now, today's a little cooler. Today's in the high 50s. Um... Yeah, so, but it's been like last week, it was pretty much in the 80s all week. So let's see, what's doing my life? I, uh, my husband, my dad, and I have been vaccinated. We've received both of our vac vaccines. Uh, we had the Pfizer. Uh, with the first vaccine, we only had a sore arm. With the second vaccine, my husband had a sore arm. My dad didn't have anything at all. And I was the only one that had some uh, side effects. I had a headache. Um, I was super tired and sleepy. I mean, to the point where I was working, um, you know, because when we went to get the, the vaccine, it was like 8.30 8 in the morning. So when we got home, I started working. I worked from home. And um, I wanted to go to around 2.30. It was, I was so tired and so sleepy. I'm going to go back to the first shade and kind of bring it back and over the uh, edge. So anyway, I had to stop working. I had to lay down for a little bit. And I felt totally asleep. And I had a headache. Like, um, it wasn't a really bad headache, but it was there. You know, it was really bothering me. So anyways, when I woke up, I felt a little better. And then that night, I got the chills again. And the uh, body aches. I always have body aches, but this was really, really super bad. Okay, I'm going to go to this one right here now that is called Apartment. And I'm going to uh, get a smaller 
brush and um, here we go and darken out the outer V apartment oh I got I think I got the wrong brush yeah this is not what I want okay here we go I found the right brush so um, I had yeah I had all those symptoms really you know really bad body aches and I woke up the next morning with um, really bad body aches I wasn't able to I was supposed to go to the office the next morning because we were having meetings and I couldn't go because I felt so bad but by that night I felt fine it was all gone and um, when I woke up the next morning I was back to normal uh, the only thing I still had was like that dull headache for like a couple of days and it was almost like a headache it was like my head was heavy I don't know I don't know how to explain it but um yeah but that was it but I'm glad it was me and not my dad that had the side effects but I'm not sorry you know I'm, I knew that some people did get side effects and and um yeah it was fine i'm glad i had my vaccines and that's out of the way now in florida they lowered the the age to 50 so if you're 50 or over you can you know sign up to get vaccinated um my daughter's a teacher she was able to get back vaccinated um my granddaughter she works with patients so um with children and um she was able to get vaccinated also all right so let me see i don't know what i want to do i think i'm going to try doing i think i'm going to try doing grateful i think this is a pretty green and i don't have any green on but i think green is pretty for um spring and then this one on the on the um outer or on the inner uh, half of my lid so anyways yes that's about all this new there's um i haven't been recording that much because my dad had a couple of um bad weeks that he wasn't feeling well and um yeah we were kind of worried about him for a while there i thought he may have to end up going to the hospital but good thing we were able to avoid that the last hospital experience was a nightmare and um, I really didn't want to go through that because they didn't allow us to stay with them last time. And that was pure, you know, stress. Especially after we saw him the following day and uh, the mess that we found and the condition we found him in. It was really terrible that none of us could stay there with him to make sure that he was being taken care of. So, it's turning out kind of dark for spring look all right so um let me go ahead and do this peach that's pretty don't you think that's pretty i think that looks pretty I have the green on one side and on the peach on the other. All right, so I'm going to take a small brush. Where's the pencil brush? Oh, the pencil brush that I had, and I'm going to use the brown on my lower lash line. Why did I drop the right mirror? You know, I come up with good ideas, but then I don't follow through. I think I'm going to have to do something about those dark circles. Okay, so... Um, mascara is on. I'm going to put a little bit of bronzer and I'm going to use this one from the uh, Ulta. Milani has one too. I mean, you can use any bronzer. You guys know what bronzer you like. So, just whichever bronzer you have. And I usually try to go for a light color because 
I don't like um, really dark bronzers. I don't like to see a line between, you know, the bronzer and the rest of my skin. I mean, I just like for everything to blend and for just to be kind of like a gradient. So I don't like it like super pronounced. And I put very little up here because I have a very small forehead. So I don't feel like I really need a lot of bronzer on my forehead. Okay, now for blush, we're going to use this one. It's from Catrice, and it's the Glowing Multicolor. Multicolor? Yeah, that's what it says. And I don't know what shade it is. Does it have a shade? Wine O'Clock. So this is what Wine O'Clock looks like. It's very pretty, and like I said, it is from Catrice. Boy. And it's like, it has like, if you can look closely, it has like different shades in there so i usually just go all over and i use the same brush as the one for the uh, bronzer i just use the other side and it does have a little bit of luminosity so I think you can see it. All right, and now I am going to use for um, for highlighter. I'm going to use this Essence Pure Nude, and this is in the shade 40 Be My Sunlight. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, highlighter. It really melts right into your skin. It gives you a very pretty natural glow, and it's pretty because it's like gold. You know, it's not like that. I don't know, you kind of get tired of that same champagne shade all the time. I like the ones that have little peachy tones also, or rosy tones. They look so pretty. Okay, so that's it. I don't like my bronzer to be super loud. So for lipsticks, I have two options. I realized today that I don't own many coral lipsticks and even less drugstore coral lipsticks. So um, there's two of them that I had that are kind of coral. This is a new one to my collection. I'm just going to share this, this one with you in another video. But this is from L'Oreal. And I think these are new because I don't remember seeing these before. And I'm always checking for new products and, you know, Maybelline, L'Oreal, whatever, especially Lip Colors Milani. And I had not seen this one. And I, it's beautiful. They, they have, like, probably 10 different shades. I ordered five only received three of them. I got them through Amazon, but they're all really pretty. Um, this one is 181. I will write it on the screen because I really can't see it right now. It's very, um, how do you call it? Very tiny and I can't see it. So this is not a drugstore. I couldn't find a drugstore, um, lip liner that went with this lipstick to make it a little darker because it's kind of nude. And if I just use it without a darker lip liner, or without a lip liner, I look dead. So this is by Estee Lauder and is in number 16, Brick. Okay, so this is the color. And this is the one I decided to go with. Let me show you the other one that I have brought with me also. But I think this one, this is the one that I have pulled first. But this is the new one, and I think that's a prettier color. The other one has like more pink. And the other one is in number 444, Tropical Coral. But it looks more pink to me than coral. This one right here. Let me know what you think. So this one has, look at the bullet, how nice the bullet is. It's kind of like it so that it can hug your lip better, I guess. It's very interesting for sure. And it's supposed to be a lightweight. You're only supposed to need like one swipe. We'll see about that. And um, it's a creamy color, but um, yeah, very comfortable. But let's see the one swatch. Usually when I've done it, I do this. I'm so used to that. See, I'm not used to just doing it once. Not bad. 
Not bad. I need a little more shine. So it's creamy and shiny. It has a scent. So if it, I just grabbed it. If you don't like lipsticks with a scent, this is not for you. You know, guys know the L'Oreal lipsticks are very scented. So are the um, Milani. Milani, uh, they smell like um, punch, like fruit punch. All right, so now the only thing left is my setting spray. And I'm using the e.l.f. Hydrating Coconut Mist. This is really, really good. As you can see, I think this is the only mist that I'm this low on. I usually, it takes me forever to go through a mist. So, I'm going to wet my brush. And I'm going to tap my face. All right, guys, so this is my completed look. Um, this is a spring look, so let me know what you think. Did I do okay, Linda? I hope you like it. I hope this is what you were looking for as far as the lipstick. I mean, we all look better, and I can wear a coral that is very orangey. It just doesn't pull right for me. It looks really, really weird. Just like I can wear a red that pulls orange. I have to wear the reds that have the blue undertone. Um, those are the ones that would look better on my with my complexion. The ones that have like the orange undertone, not so much. So even with my corals, I have to usually use like a darker lip liner or something like that because if I go very corally, then it's going to look really orange on me. Okay, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Linda, I hope that you enjoyed this look and this is what you were looking for. Thank you so much for making the request. If any of you guys have a video request, make sure you leave it in the comments for me. And I don't always answer comments right away because you guys know that we take care of my dad and I don't have, sometimes it's hard to find the time. I really do try because I love, I always read the comments. What I've been doing now is reading and doing a heart and then going back and, and um, answering the comment. But I always, always, always read them even if I don't answer them right away because I just love getting your feedback. I love chatting with you back and forth through the comments. And I need to do a better job of finding the time to do this and not let it fall behind. Okay, guys, I love you and I will see you on my next video. Bye. Mwah.